In today's short video, let's continue with the hot topic discussed recently. What are some of the best Chinese stocks to buy and watch after all the China crackdowns and Chinese stocks crashes? What is going on guys? This is Baro aka Invest Mentor. During Chinese stock crashes after the series of China crackdowns, let's look for some Chinese companies that have new game-changing products and services with strong earning growth and promising outlook. People usually start with those strong earning growth such as Alibaba or Pinduoduo stock. If they are not profitable, at least we look for rapid revenue growth like a NIO or Li Auto stock. The best Chinese stock should also have strong technicals including superior price performance over time. This year, Chinese stocks are totally out of favor, whether it's a general depression for Chinese EV companies such as NIO and Xpen, or a regulatory crackdown for Alibaba, DD or New Oriental Education. US listed Chinese stocks have been notable losers this year. Chinese stocks rebounded in late July after state media blamed the recent sell-off on venting of emotion, suggesting China government would like stock prices to stabilize. But the crackdowns and a harsh attitude continue with economic data and COVID Delta variants breakout in China have also raised concerns in August. Currently, bullish and bearish views have been mixed for buying the dips or continuous selling off. In such a turbulence, we have found some top Chinese stocks to buy and watch. Let's have a quick review over some facts and analysis of the 5 best Chinese stocks to buy and watch. First is BYD stock. BYD Corporation is the biggest pure play of Chinese EV maker, making electric cars and buses as well as many hybrids. It's also a major electric vehicle battery maker. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has been a long-time investor for BYD. BYD's EV sales is very close to Tesla. In July, BYD's sales of new energy vehicles grew 170% versus a year earlier, while the EV sales was up 110%. The automaker introduced a cheaper standard range EV on July 31st, after Tesla cut the Model 3 price in China a week earlier. Meanwhile, Chinese media reported that BYD will supply battery for Tesla EVs starting sometime in 2022. Like NIO and Xpen, BYD has begun selling EVs in Norway, starting the SUV model there. Notably, BYD has been profitable in sharp contrast to Li Auto, NIO, and Xpen Motors. BYD stocks corrected nearly 50% from its January peak around $36 to its main low around $17. BYD stock surged doubled by early August close to the record high around $36. Now, 70% of analysts are rating to buy BYD with 12 months forecasting high up to $57. By technical analysis, BYD stock price now seems to be forming a small handle of a cup pattern just below the record high, offering a breakout buy point at $36. BYD is listed in Hong Kong exchange and traded in US OTC market. That's why BYD stock price chart has lots of small gaps up and down. BYD was listed in 2002 as the biggest Chinese EV maker with great value for both short-term trading and long-term investment. Second is Li Auto stock. Li Auto is one of several Chinese EV makers that trade in the US market, competing with each other and Tesla, while still losing money. Li Auto has seen huge sales growth from one of its current model, the Li One SUV. Li One is actually a hybrid with a small gasoline engine to extend its range. Li Auto just reported July sales up for about 250% versus a year earlier. After a huge run from its July 2020 IPO to a record high around $40 in November 2020, 
The auto stock plunged to $16 in May this year. Then, the auto stock price soared over two times up to $37 and had another pullback in the third quarter, like other EV stocks and highly valued names of growth stocks generally. The auto also went IPO on Hong Kong exchange on August 12th, following Xpen to have a due listing in both Nasdaq and Hong Kong exchanges. Now, the auto stock price seems to be undergoing a consolidation before the next bull run. Over 80% of analysts are rating to buy while no one is rating to sell the auto, with the 12-month forecasting high up to $62. The recent return multiple can easily go over 10 times by setting a stop loss at a level around $24 to $25 for short-term trading. Like we use $1 to trade for more than $10 in this case. Third is NEO stock. While not as large as diversified, profitable BYD, NEO is the most established Chinese EV startup. The company is not yet profitable as well, but revenue growth is very strong. NEO revenue soared 530% in first quarter 2021 versus a year earlier when China was in the trouble of COVID-19 crisis. However, NEO deliveries stole in second quarter due to chip shortage. NEO has also begun Norway delivery for its SUV model, kicking off its European expansion. NEO stock peaked around $67 in January and pulled back to $31 in May this year. Then, NEO stock price ran up again to $55 in July and fell back again to form a triangle contraction in a range consolidation right now. NEO earnings outperformed expectations in this August and the loss was smaller than expected while revenue shot up 145% to 1.3 billion US dollars. Besides, NEO's third quarter revenue guidance was above consensus at a midpoint and the EV maker also expects a continuous growing in deliveries. That came after NEO reported July sales up about 125% versus a year earlier. Sadly, NEO's ESA model had a fatal crash case reported in this August, creating more pressure on the stock price lately. NEO now is also moving toward a dual listing in Hong Kong exchange as well, after Xpen and Li Auto. For both short-term trading and long-term investment, all the major Chinese EV stocks are definitely worth following closely as China has assumed the world's biggest EV market in terms of both supply and demand over the past decade, while China government has been sparing no expense to run its well-planned course to cover the entire country with EV only in the near future. Besides good volatility for short-term trading, all the major Chinese EV companies are definitely the best and most important targets for all of the investors and traders to follow closely in the future. And the fourth one is Billy Billy stock. Billy Billy, also known as B Sites in China, is one of the major Chinese internet companies focusing on mobile gaming, video sharing, and live broadcasting. Billy Billy went IPO in the US in 2018. Its stock price soared and pulled back hugely along the COVID 19 pandemic. Almost 100% of analysts right now are rating to buy, and no one is rating to sell Billy Billy. With a 12 months forecasting high over $180 and a current price at only $66. As one of the biggest losers in China cracked down this year, Billy Billy implies one of the strongest rebound potential on the stock price in the near future. From both fundamental and technical standpoints, Billy Billy could be considered one of the best internet stock for short term trading with great value in long term investment as well. And the fifth one is Tencent stock. Tencent is one of the biggest Chinese internet and tech companies, covering a various online business including media, communication, and entertainment, with continuous innovation and expansion into payment, cloud computation, artificial intelligence, and many other fields. 
Tencent's fundamental and technical have been on a stable and strong upward trend since its IPO in 2008. After the price surged through COVID-19 pandemic and the crash with China crackdowns, Tencent stock is forming the bottom with great, great discount by the dip right now. Besides, Tencent CEO and the board members have been in a close relationship with China government to follow all the national plans closely. The recent harsh correction in stock price has been definitely well planned by China government and the corporate insiders. All the Chinese institutional and retail investors with some insights have been buying the dips along the Chinese stock crash and the China crackdown. After all that, I just become aware that many American investors have been trapped or cropped in the Chinese stock crashes this year. Please also check into more insightful news link in the description box down below this video. As always, I'm really eager to dig out some good insights with you all together for some great, great profit-taking opportunity in stock trading and investment. Please feel free to leave any of your thoughts and comments and never forget to smash the like and subscribe button down below this video. I look forward to having more with you in the next one. See you.